Oh, hello. I didn't see you there. Welcome back to another episode of Emily Sodder's Things with me, your host, Emily. You might be thinking to yourself, Emily, it's Saturday night. What are you doing sitting at home by yourself in your workshop, in your underwear, soldering things while your cat is over there? You're a popular YouTuber. You should be out with your friends having fun, right? Well, no, I'm not popular. So I sit at home soldering things on Saturday night, which is not a popular thing to do, which makes me even less popular. But that's what we're doing. Tonight we're soldering this. It's a board that connects an ESP32 to an LED matrix. Um, yeah, let's solder it together. Many, many bins later. All right, well, that was fun, wasn't it? Look, it's all done. So, what is this? Um, as I alluded to earlier, this is a board for connecting an ESP32, which you see right here, to an LED matrix, which you don't see right here because I have not removed it yet from the Pixel Purse. If you've been around on Twitter, you've probably seen the Pixel Purse. I think um, quite a few people have them now. They're a really awful toy that is supposed to, I guess, teach girls how to code, but um, it just teaches them that pink plastic purses are really ugly, I guess. I don't know. And um, I have one. And the great thing about them is that they have a really nice LED matrix in them. And uh, it's a standard LED matrix. It's like an off-the-shelf part. And you can buy, I don't know if you can still buy them, but you, at the time that I filmed this, you could buy one of these purses for cheaper on Amazon than you could actually buy one of those LED matrices new. So 
Um, someone, one of my Twitter followers, um, who I'm going to have to look his name up, he bought one for me and sent it to me. He wanted to see what I would do with it. Uh, and Brian Loft, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, who goes by Witness Me Now on Twitter, sent me one of these boards. comes with a uh, little cable here that I guess you connect like, uh, like so. And then that allows this to connect easily up to that matrix. And he even has, this is Brian we're talking about, he even has some sketches he wrote um, for this. You might have seen his, his Tetris clock, which is a really, really cool thing. I know, he used one of these and he was kind enough to send one to me. So you can buy this on Tindy. It's called the, uh, the Mini 32 Matrix Breakout. Uh, it's very nicely done. It's a, it's, it's a quality kit. There are not a lot of parts to it. So uh, in the next part of this video, there will be a part two, so watch it as well. I am going to disassemble that purse and I'm going to connect the matrix to this thing and we're going to get it running. And then maybe in part three, I'm going to build a housing for it. So anyhow, that's it for now. Bye.